Tumekuja Zungumza na wewe Tumekuja Zungumza na wewe Aja zumyo yoye Tijilika nena wewe bwana Bwana Tumekuja Zungumza na wewe Tumekuja Zungumza na wewe Aja zumyo Kaliskopra na wewe Wanaume e Kila tuomba Kila tutakalo Matara jio yetu ya kukwako Kozadi Kila tuomba lo Kila tutakalo Matara jio yetu Yako kwa ko tu Mapenzi yako ya timizu Ufame wako uje liwe Utakalo dunia Mapenzi yako ya timizu Ufame wako ukaliske pradiska mrano Utakalo dunia Yo will be done Yo kingdom come On earth As it is in earth As it is in heaven Allah subra dear Everything I do let me do As it is in earth Everything I think, let me do as it is in earth. As it is in heaven. Praise God, this is Dr. Piano once again. And this is another episode of Ibada Clinic, where we tunapata muda kujifunza vitu vichache ambavyo Roho Mtakatifu anaendelea kuvifungua kwetu na last episode tulijua tunavopata wimbo uh, ni nini inamaanisha nini Mungu akitupa wimbo kwenye mioyo yetu kwenye nafsi zetu hasa pale asubuhi tunapoamka inamaanisha nini na tukasoma kwamba inamaanisha Mungu anakualika sehemu ambapo unaweza kukutana naye sasa watu wengine walikuwa na boti your process. Kwa unasikia wimbo mzuri Roho Mtakatifu anauachilia moyo ni mwako na unaisikia nguvu ya Mungu inatembea lakini unaipotezea kwa sababu uko na kazi ofisini. Unasema siwezi kuomba, siwezi kufanya chochote lakini nilikushauri hata kama una kazi endelea kuomba moyo ni mwako kwa sababu Roho Mtakatifu ana update software ambazo zitakusaidia kwenda kwenye level nyingine. Na kumbuka kwamba hatuiti watu kwenye levo watu ambao ile kuna kuna vitu ambavyo umekuwa ukivitarajia maisha ni mwako havitakuja kwenye levo liopo unapaswa ku upgrade levo yako asita mahanto kapraliza so wakati mwingine unapaswa kupanda level fulani ili ukutane na watu wa levo hiyo hakuna Mungu hakuna mtu ay, Mungu atakuwa interested kutumia destiny helpers ambao uko chini ya level ya inabidi ukue so one of the mains ambao Mungu anaweza kukukuza kutoka kwenye level moja ya kiroho kwenda kwenye level nyingine ni kutumia wimbo ni, ni kuinvite kupitia melody na anakupa, anakupa invitation ya wewe kumwabudu na neno wa Mungu linasema kwenye Zaburi 65 mstari wa 4 ni Mungu anayechagua nani amkaribie so kama Mungu anakupa wimbo ndani yako unakuja na nguvu ya Mungu jitahidi ku tumia huo wimbo ku upgrade ku update software yako ya kiroho Mungu ana upgrade anakuita come up here come up here come up here kama alivyomuita Musa kule mlimani njoo huku juu 
Lakini pia uh, part nyingine ambayo unapaswa kufanya Mungu anavyokuwa anakuita usiwe na haraka kutoka uweponi mwake. Usiwe okay. Hawezi kutoka kwenye uweponi Mungu kwa sababu Mungu yuko kila mahali. Lakini usiwe na haraka kuondoka kwenye eneo ambalo Mungu amekuita. Usiwe na haraka kuondoka kwenye huo wimbo kabla bado Mungu hajautumia kubadilisha vitu fulani kwa update your spiritual status. So baki hapo tu kama kwa mfano leo Mungu amenipa wimbo kila tuomba kila tutakalo matarajio yetu yako kwa baki hapo create atmosphere ya kubaki hapo jitahidi hata hapo ambapo mawazo mengine yanakuja be intentional kwamba God I just want to be there be intentional kwamba nataka kubaki tu katika hiyo atmosphere ambayo Mungu ana invite kwa sababu simu inaweza kuita mtoto anaweza kulia bosi anaweza kukuita hata kama unaenda kwa bosi maintain the atmosphere ya kumuomba Mungu kuna ongea unaoendelea na mambo mengine unabidi u develop a spiritual technology ambayo itakusaidia huo unaweza kuwa unaongea na mtu lakini bado moyo ni mwako mnaomba na una maintain spiritual atmosphere hatuwezi kusema uache kazi hatuwezi kusema uache shughuli unazofanya lakini lazima utengeneze spiritual intelligence ambayo itakusaidia kuwa unafanya vitu katika ulimwengu roho lakini physically na mambo mengine yanaendelea simultaneously lakini kama una muda tenga muda tengeneza atmosphere baki kwa muda mrefu because chochote ambacho Mungu anakijenga kikubwa okay tembo anazaa zaidi ya miezi 16 ili azae na mtoto wake unamwona alivyo strong sungura anaweza kuzaa spishi na nane mtoto wake unajua haipo strong so kitu kitakachozaliwa kwako muda utakao tumia kuatamia kitu utaamua ni kitu gani utakwenda kukiza ukitaka hii miujiza simple simple faster faster fast track itakuwa inakuja inaondoka hivyo lakini ukitaka kitu tangible cha muda mrefu hakikisha Mungu anavyokuinvite sayuni uje kwa muda mrefu ninashangaa sana Musa ukiona Mungu anavyomuita Musa anamwambia njoo huku siku ya kwanza inapita siku ya pili inapita siku ya tatu ameshapanda mlimani anasubiri ameingia kwenye ile wingu la utukufu wa Mungu siku ya ta, ya nne inapita siku ya tano inapita siku ya sita ndio Mungu anaanza kuongea. Sasa angekurupuka tu siku ya kwanza mbona Mungu umenita afu ongee kitu? Ingekuwa ni wastage of time. So second thing, ukipata invitation hakikisha unakaa muda mrefu, muda wa kutosha mpaka umepokea instruction kwa sababu hakuna udhihirisho wa Mungu wowote. Kalisko brother ambao hauna sauti. Nitakusomea hiyo Biblia. Mungu anavyokujidhihirisha na utukufu wake, hamna utukufu wake ambao hauna sauti. Kwa sababu utukufu wa Mungu sio kwa ajili ya entertainment. Utukufu wa Mungu ni kwa sababu unakuja kuleta maelekezo fulani. Kwa hakuna udhihirisho wa Mungu wowote maishani kwa mtu ambao hauna sauti. There is no glory any manifestation of glory of God ambayo haija contain sound ambayo hiyo sound ina instruction let me read for you kwenye bible malasko pradiske la mahante kapradia ezekiel 43 ezekiel 43 i have a lot of verses ambayo in address hiyo statement ambayo nime nimeongea hata roho mtakatifu aliniambia this morning kwamba there is no glory there is no any manifestation of god ambayo haina sauti bia So at any point where God rested came through the cloud pillar of cloud at any place baadaye unasikia akaanza kuongea na Musa I want us to focus on Ezekiel 43 Ezekiel sura ya uh, 43 mstari wa kwanza anasema afterward he brought me to the gate the gate that faces toward the east mstari wa pili and behold the glory of God of Israel came from the way of east utukufu wa Mungu ulikuja so ni utukufu wa Mungu unakuvuta uje patakatifu pa Mungu kupitia wimbo ambao unausikia unaliita hapo asubuhi sasa utukufu wa Mungu unapokuita 
uwaga una sauti anasema mstari wa pili behold the glory of god of israel came from the way of east his voice karipro la sinta so you have to be able to see the glory of god and to hear the voice behind the glory of god amesema behold tazama utukufu wa mungu unakuja lakini anaanza kusema his voice was like the sound of many water anajuaje kwamba his voice that means alipewa macho ya kuona utukufu wa mungu na kumuona mungu na akao akasikia sauti So at any point ambao Mungu amejidhihirisha kwako unajua kabisa Mungu ana ajenda na mimi. Pay attention, give him time, spend time. Un, ukimpa time Mungu anakupa time. Whatever you give God and I multiply. So when you give him time, anakupa time ambapo utakuwa unafanya vitu vidogo lakini kuna manifestation kubwa cause ume spend nine time ya kutosha. So my, my, my prayer is when you go to the secret place because of that song ambao Mungu amekupea asubuhi unapoamka hakikisha una maintain atmosphere ya kukaa kwenye uwepo wa Mungu muda mrefu kiasi kwamba usikie sauti nyuma ya huo wimbo ya mkini sauti ya nyuma ya huo wimbo upo kwenye hata hayo maneno kwenye hizo lyrics ya umekaa katika namna ya kulalamika na Mungu anakuambia na sema asante na kumbe kweli anataka umshukuru na unapomshukuru anaanza kukupa ideas kwamba i wanted you to think because anasema anasema uh, 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 thanksgiving brings multiplication so maana yake anapokuita kwa namna ya kutamani kumshukuru that means there is a mountain of miracles there is multiple miracles i heard of So anaweza kukwambia uimbe Lion of Judah we worship you Kazi bro de Judah you are holy So unajua akikwambia Lion of Judah anamaanisha nini maana yake kuna vita ambazo Awezi kupigana nazo unamhitaji simba wa kabila hilo so pay attention give it time mpe Mungu muda wa kukaa na kuutazama uwepo wa Mungu kiasi kwa utazame mpaka usikie sauti cha kwanza kinachokimbia kuliko kati ya mwanga na, na sauti ni mwanga una speed kubwa kwa macho yako yataanza kuona utukufu wa Mungu lakini ukitazama kwa makini utaanza kusikia sauti nyuma ya utukufu. So iko ni kichwa pili cha kwanza Mungu anavyokupa wimbo anakukaribisha. Akikukaribisha anakufungulia macho uanze kuona utukufu wake. Ukianza kuona utukufu wake cha tatu ataanza kukusikizisha kitu ambacho kiko nyuma ya utukufu wake. Na hicho kitu ni consigning ni, ni, ni personal. Ni kitu ambacho Mungu atakwambia kulingana na vile alivyokuita. So next time Mungu atatupa neema ku break down. Unafanyaje baada ya kusikia sauti ya nyuma utukufu wa Mungu na utukufu wa Mungu kujidhihirisha. Je, ni kwa ajili ya entertainment kukuburudisha tu au kuna vitu vingine extra? See you on next episode and this is Dr. Ipiana. Unavoinvitiwa na Mungu kupitia wimbo, hakikisha unaupa muda wa kutosha. Usabot process until you see the glory of god when you see the glory of god angalia sana huo utukufu mpaka usikie sauti nyuma ya utukufu i love you go and make jesus proud kukukao